The Biden administration's top envoy to Afghanistan is resigning more than two months after the Taliban seized control of the country. Zalmay Khalilzad informed Secretary of State Antony Blinken of his long-expected decision by letter Monday. He is a rare holdover from the Trump administration and helped the U.S. broker the 2019 peace deal with the Taliban. In his resignation, he admitted the agreement, quote, did not go forward as envisaged. Khalilzad will be replaced by his deputy, who will pick up negotiations as the Taliban seeks to unfreeze Afghanistan's financial assets and get more humanitarian aid. That does it for today. You can see Red and Blue Monday to Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern. And a reminder for the last previous episode of the Why would I allow somebody who abused me for 128 years to then consume me? An original documentary on CBSN. Stream now. An original documentary on CBSN. 50 shows running, the lights blinking. People fight. Your entire career to get the property. Are you trained your entire life? Hello? This is Mike. Whoa, hey, you better slow down. You're talking to a real man here. <laughs> Calling from Melissa. You use Melissa. You got one part of your sentence right, girl. Now, Melissa, where the hell are you from? Oh, goddamn. I sure couldn't tell, man. I can sit down. What's up? What? What, Melissa? Goddamn, what do I need an appointment to discuss with y'all or with them? Well, hey, girl. Yeah, I know who you is now. You're that long French braid, girl. And the short girl. I know who you are. Now, listen, I know you gave me a physical, and I know you looked at my bunk years ago. I don't know why you guys are giving this guy a hard time. You, I depend on you to get to, 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 to help me make it. And you guys are being ridiculous to me, man. I don't, baby. I got the one. That's it. Man. That's it. Hell no, man. It don't. I, I feel like a metamorphosis. I feel, I feel like a goddamn mutation. You ever seen that movie Kevin Costner, Waterworld? They lynched this. They lynched this guy because his ears, his ears got gills, so he can dive in the water. I guess I got me something on my back that ain't like most people. So what? All right. So you're telling me. I gotta make a phone call to the Family Health Center, make an appointment specifically to talk to about what? But I did that. I gotta do a follow up. What? 
Oh, I see what y'all doing. I see what y'all doing. I see what y'all doing. Listen, I don't talk to them. I talked to somebody today at the Family Health Center. They called me, man. And they told me about my blood work because I had them do a cholesterol on me. And they told me, the paper you gave to the receptionist desk is not in your folder. So here's the news, girl. Think about your plan. Because I know your folded up papers are lie. I took them a brand new paper, a fresh paper that we signed, that y'all had me sign on the, on, the, on the goddamn day, whenever the hell it was. I went to the appointment at 1120. I gave them the paper, girl. It ain't my fault what y'all are doing to me, man. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go to the doctor and tell them I got a special appointment so I can donate plasma, y'all. What you gonna write on there, Michelle, Melissa? What you gonna write on there? You gonna write your handwritten thing? Cause this fucking paper you, this fucking paper you done been sending me around for three doctors done been changing every time I fucking get one. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. You ain't gonna send them nothing. If if somebody's gonna take paper, I'm gonna send it to them. Okay? I hear what you're saying. If I ever get lucky and can get my shit together, I'll be a faithful donor. But for right now, you guys are making it too difficult, man. You are making it difficult as hell. So anyways, I'm glad it's 7 o'clock and you're going home, girl. You have a good life. Bye. Bitch on tape. All the time you motherfuckers fuck me over, I got him on tape. 